First up, you know him uh, not only from Lost Galaxy, but from some crossover in Lightspeed Rescue and Super Mega Force. He is Damon Henderson, the Green Galaxy Ranger. Let's hear it for Reggie Roll. <laughs> I said this to you before the panel. I'm going to say it again. That is a sweet setup that you have behind her. I'm super jelly Thank you, of your, sir. Of, Thank your you. of your Rangers shelves there. So uh, nice. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Excited let's, to be here. Yeah, this is this is going to be fun. Um, let's get our next two guests out here. Um, she is Maya, the Yellow Galaxy Ranger. Let's hear it for Serena Vincent, everybody. Hi. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part of Power Rangers, uh, one of my favorite parts has to be the merch. You know what I mean? The All the the figures that you can get, the figurines, the helmets, the let's see that t-shirt. Show us that amazing t-shirt, so Serena. So Reggie got me this t-shirt. This is our cast because all the seasons start from Japan. Yes. And this is um, our cast, right? This is our season. That's right. Uh, from Tokyo. Or, yeah, Japan. So Very nice. Thanks, Very nice. Reg. I still have it. I cut the neck off, but. I love how the costumes change. You, you guys are so easily identifiable by the sort of like Charlie Brown, if you will, uh, esque, you know, a zigzag. And so you can, we can always tell when it's when it's Lost Galaxy in the house for sure. Um, and last but certainly not least, uh, we met her first uh, as uh, Astronema and Corone in Power Rangers in Space. Uh, she then returned in Lost Galaxy and Super Mega Force. Let's hear it for Pink Galaxy Ranger Two, <laughs> uh, the second. Let's hear it for <laughs> Melody Perkins. <laughs> to be here thank you for having me oh my gosh um obviously you are all part uh seminal part of the power rangers franchise and legacy uh i don't know if you heard me before you all popped on all of the countries that people are watching from right now uh and across the u.s La lost I, I just want to start off with the question of like how it feels to be part of that legacy and know that no matter where you go at, at in conventions, you know, in person, uh, around the world, that you have fans, uh, not only of just Power Rangers in general, but, you know, we've had multiple seasons, multiple casts, and still, it doesn't matter what cast you're in, you know, what season you're in, the fandom is always super supportive and super huge of, of anyone who still comes still out there. Out. And I'd love to just kind of go around the room and just hear about, you know, your experience with the fans of, of Power Rangers. Uh, Reggie, why don't we start with you since you, you, you popped out first? <laughs> wow. Um, you know, I, I say this a lot. I feel it feels like you're a part of this really special fraternity that lasts forever for a lifetime. So, um, you know, I didn't know when when I first uh, booked the show that it would last for the rest of my life and that it would be such a special um, sort of group to be a part of. But it's been great to meet fans all over the world um, in different cities all over the world and you know, there's something special about being a superhero. Not everybody can say that. So it, it, I've had a lot of fun with it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Serena? Okay, I'm going to cry. Is that weird? Like, no, yeah, no. So emotional. Like, the, I, okay, I'm going to answer your question without crying. But um, Reggie's right. It does, It. I, I feel exactly the same way. When we booked the job or when I booked the job, I didn't know that in 20 three years, we would still be talking about it yeah. for 20 years, however long it's been. Um, and I didn't realize that I was going to be part, get to get to be part of like this club. Um, and it's not just the, all the power Rangers that have um, been on television, you know, for all these years. Um, it's also the fans, like it, it, it makes it us a, a community, but I have to say like, there's something also really special about well, what makes me want to cry is Reggie and Melody and Valerie and Archie and Danny, and, uh, they could yes. be here with us today, but like we really have a forever bond. And so it, it's so wonderful to see their faces. Reggie was my best friend. I like, I like how you said what well, it was your best friend. You're no longer no, staying. High. No, okay. <laughs> my no. heart. You know. Oh man, awesome, awesome. Melody Tuck, um, obviously you started started in, in space um and then came in uh on Lost Galaxy. So, you know, part of two series. Uh again, talk a little bit about the the crazy fandom from around the world. Oh my gosh, ditto and ditto with uh <laughs> Reggie and Serena. I feel like I had no idea what I was a part of until I really started engaging with the fans. 
And that was uh, right after going to New Zealand for the legendary uh, battle. Yeah. And it was then seeing everyone and seeing all of these different series represented that I was just overcome. And we just got so close on that trip. It meant so much. I know that Reggie could agree on that. And soon thereafter, I started doing Comic Cons. And that was really when it, it, it meant so much to me to just engage with people who have been impacted by the show. And that is everything. The fans are everything. So I'm just so grateful. Uh, specifically Storm Swarter. And a lot of people are typing in very similar things, but Storm Swarter says, Lost Galaxy was one of those that really stuck with me a lot as a kid. It was such a cool plot line that felt so different um, from you know the original cast and the original series of, of Mighty Morphin uh, Power Rangers. I, I, I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, really in space, Melody, I think started it and then co- it continued uh, in Lost Galaxy. We had, there were some crossover characters for sure, but really it was the first time that there were brand new casts what was it like? We'll start with you, Melody. Was there pressure at the time? Did you feel any sort of um, apprehension about bringing a new cast to the Power Rangers universe uh, coming, starting with In Space? I was, I was a bit naive in this process, and I have to say I felt no pressure. Uh, the, <laughs> it was kind of a, a new experience with a really steep learning curve. I wasn't... Um, I was kind of new to acting and I didn't know about the history of the series. So it was, uh, thank God, because if I did, I don't know if I would have been able to (laughs) rise up to the occasion. So, and it just, it just, I understand that the storyline took a a little bit more of a, um, a deeper turn. And I, I just, I'm so glad I was a part of it. Yeah, definitely darker elements that had not been seen before, which I will get to some of those in a bit, but uh, definitely darker elements, uh, more through lines and, and plot lines of the characters. Um, Serena and Reggie, again, what was it like? Did you know anything about Mighty Morphin beforehand uh, coming into it, um, you know, in creating those characters and these brand new characters that people were seeing for the first time? Uh, Serena? You know, I didn't. I, had, I, I knew of Power Rangers. I heard of it. I have a younger brother, um, so I had, like, seen glimpses of it but I at at the time when I booked the show I was um 18 and uh 18 19 maybe um Mm -hmm. in college and like it wasn't (laughs) Power Rangers wasn't on my radar and I got when I got the audition I also like it wasn't connecting the dots that it was the same Power Rangers that you know my brother watched sure Um, sure. and so uh I um I just was like Melody. I I was also very naive and new to acting. I had done like a little movie and a couple of guest stars before I got this job, but this was my first series, and um I really was just in the process, just like very true to the character and uh, my character of Maya. And I think that who I was at the time was very much in line who that character is. And so I, I feel like that sort of helped me get the job, but no, I didn't know what I was walking into. Uh, um, and like Melody, like if I did, I might've totally blown the audition. <laughs> sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Re- Reggie. Yeah. I mean, similar stories. Um, one thing that was different for me was that I had, I think I, I had like five or six callbacks And so during that period of going back up and down from Hollywood to Valencia, I would, you know, I took some time to to watch some of the older episodes and start to learn it more. I mean, I knew about Power Rangers a little bit, but I didn't know much. But with that callback process, then, you know, I definitely started to like dig into it a little bit more. Um, So, yeah, so it was similar to what Serena and, and Melody spoke of. That's awesome. And uh, shout out to the fan questions are, are coming in. So I want to kind of steer that way and shout out to a bunch of the fans. Sasha Atkins asked, you know, about your audition process for the part, which you all kind of spoke about a little bit. So uh, shout out hey, to Sasha. Sasha. Yeah, Sasha, uh, for sending it in. And my gosh, the love, there's just so much like, this was my favorite season. Um, tragic, mm-hmm. tragic da Milkman. I love you guys, my favorite Rangers. And I, and I think we can speak for like in space and Lost Galaxy as kind of within the same universe, if you will, of like, you know, two seasons back to back that really just spoke to a lot of fans. And I, I want to talk a little bit about the difference, you know, um, with, and we talked about a little bit, Melody, about the, the little more darkness. Uh, first time that we see characters death on screen um, with first 
Mike, right? The red, the red Ranger. And then we have uh, the pink Ranger later on, which I know was due to uh, Valerie's, uh, you know, personal things. And my gosh, that had to be just shout out to her for, for just so bravely uh, going mm-hmm. through all that. And, and we wish her love. Um, but my gosh, yeah, yeah I'm, now I'm tearing up too soon. <laughs> no. um, yeah. But, uh, you know, talk a little bit about what you think set everything apart during that for in space and lost galaxy. What, what made it different from mighty Morphin that still sticks with fans to these days. And again, still you, your guys series get ranked as one of the favorites, like fan favorites from all, all 25 seasons. Um, Melody, you want to start with, since you had experience with both in space and lost galaxy, what, what was it about both of those series that really stuck out to you as being, you know, kind of different and unique? Uh, first of all, I'm so sorry for the background noise. I have neighbors that are going nuts. Um, but I, I feel like the storyline definitely was a little bit more dimensional. Uh, I think the fact that the villain reflected and she had sort of two sides to herself and she went from being good to being bad and then later to being good. I think that that, that arc in particular was like resonates with a lot of fans. I think all of us have had elements of that in our own lives where we've done something that perhaps wasn't the best and we've had to sort of learn from that. And I think this was an extreme version of that. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Obviously we moved from like Zordon, the sort of Zordon saga and then Lost Galaxy kind of takes then its own step, but then having that cool connection of uh, Mm Caron coming back. A specific question, you know, for you, Melody, was uh, specifically from Skyhound, 008 you know what was yeah what was it like uh, coming back coming back to the character and you know we had mostly the the evil version in in space but then we get to and we a real small snippet of Caron uh in in space but then we get to see her fully fleshed out in Lost Galaxy what was that like returning to the role oh my gosh it was (laughs) it was awesome in so many ways it you know and unfortunately it was a, a bittersweet experience it was you know, there was a lot of concern around Valerie, and I'm so, so grateful that everything worked out well. Yes, um, yes. And, and I have to say the whole gang, the whole Lost Galaxy crew was just so welcoming amidst such challenging times. Um, personally, I just loved it because I had sort of taken that learning curve and I kind of knew what I was doing a little bit. I had a handle on astronomy. And so coming back was just a moment to sort of relish in that and really enjoy the time. Um, for those remaining episodes. Very nice. Awesome. Um, Serena, Reggie, reflections on, on what, you know, what you thought at the time kind of made Lost Galaxy different from the rest. And a lot of fans are asking uh, a very similar question. William Burnick, you know, did you have a favorite episode? Uh, Elise Cuss also asked, did you have a favorite sort of story arc uh, for your character that, that particularly stuck out um, in Lost Galaxy or favorite episode? Reggie, you go first. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, I'll talk about favorite episode, but I think I think what made our series really in space and Lost Galaxy a little different was um, it kind of had the vibe of like a feature film in a way, the way we were going off to this new world and totally, totally. Um, all the different little, like we you talked about it earlier, like when Mike, what happened with Mike. And then also I just think internally, like with our cast, we were we were like, we were like siblings. We were really close. We were always together. The the what happened with um, Valerie, I think, drew us even closer. Um, and so I think when you're when you have relationships like that, I think it plays off on screen as well. Like as you're fighting together, um, I think it comes across on the screen better because of the really the personal relationships that we had as well. So um, we just and we had fun. Like we just we had a lot of fun together too. Um, yeah. Yeah, and Reggie, I'd, I'd like to follow up. I think one of the the big things um, that In Space did first uh, was invert, you know, what what was potentially some stereotypes that were happening uh, in Mighty Morphin. Uh, and so this question comes from Grantums Zero One because I, I just think it's 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 an important moment in Power Rangers history. Was uh, you uh, and this again? I'll read specifically from Grantums Zero One. What was it like being the first African American Green Ranger uh, coming in and you know having all the co- like colors thrown out the window? Essentially, like it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? What color mm-hmm. the different Rangers are? Uh, did you did you notice that at the time, or people spoken to you about that? You know, now kind of reflecting back. You know, at the at the time, I didn't notice it. Like right when we first started. Sure. Um, as we started to get through the season, um, I did notice uh, there were just 
you know, people would talk to me about it just when I'm in my daily life, you know, going to the store or a restaurant and it would come up sometimes. And then, um, you know, there were just different things that, that happened on the show, like the way it was written, you know, I, I, I noticed it more and, and, and I took, I take pride in that, you know, people will yeah, yeah. send me 100%. messages on Instagram sometimes, or um, whether it's Martin Luther King day or black history month or different things like that. And people actually send me messages to remind me about that and, and, you know, compliment me on that. And so I take pride in the fact that I was able, I was blessed enough to be, to be able to portray Damon. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, Serena, particular episodes or story arcs that stuck out. Obviously we get this kind of really new, interesting feature of Maya being uh, from a different planet and then meeting up with the characters. And then uh, my gosh, between Maya and then the two, the pink Rangers, uh, just really strong female characters as well. Uh, what's particularly sticks out to you about, you know, the lost galaxy season. So, well, my first, I, I would say that my, um, my favorite um, episode would be, was my first episode um, when oh, I yeah. like, like run through Marinoi and ro- fall out of the portal and roll down the hill and land at the feet of what would be like my new best friends. You know, that was like <laughs> day one of shooting for me because they were all, the cast was all already shooting. Um, and um, I replaced someone. So there was, uh, there was someone who, who, uh, who booked who, who was the yellow ranger who was maya before me and it didn't work out so i replaced her so they all kind of knew each other they did all know each other and um and i came in and they were like reshooting things i think reggie right or didn't you reshoot that stuff uh yes most yeah. of it some of it yes mm-hmm. um so anyway that's a side note um so that was that was my favorite episode um it was sort of like it um this weird like art imitating life and imitating art thing where <laughs> um where I, I really did feel like I in my own life was like like falling through a portal and like landing in this like new what which would would be my life business um <laughs> so uh um that and and then you know that was my arc and then at the end you know we end up back in Marinoi so you know um I I, I would say that 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 was my favorite. Um, and I just have to say that what happened to Valerie was devastating. Um, and we were heartbroken. And the weirdest thing about, not the weirdest, but one piece of it that was just, we didn't expect is that she got sick and had to go into treatment and we had to keep shooting. And that was yeah. really weird. We felt like really weird about it. And like, we were working so many hours that there was like, we weren't like, we wanted to like be visiting her at the hospital. And like, she knows because she knows like what a job it is to be on a series like this. Um, but it, it, that was weird for us, I would say, right? right, right? Absolutely. It was, you know, I remember we went to visit together as a group, but mm-hmm. it was weird to continue on. Yeah. Um, Cause we were, like I said, we were just, it was, it's almost like there's five kids. And so if all of a sudden one of the siblings is gone, you're kind of, it's yeah. like, and you're sitting at the dinner table, it's weird. Yeah. So, um, but. The melody but, was of course like, mel- like she's, you are all love. Right in. Was, yeah. Nobody yeah. could have stepped in. Nobody could have done that better. Right. I totally agree. Yeah. Melody. Uh, hard any- on you guys though. I was just going to say reactions on that. I mean, it's such an awesome episode, The Power of Pink. You know what I mean? And when you when you think about what was actually going on in real life while watching it, whew, you know what I mean? Uh, and so, yeah, I, I don't know, Melly, any sort of immediate reactions to that specific episode and, and kind of coming in under those circumstances? Yeah, I, I just, I, I can only speak to how amazing and professional the cast was. I can't, I can't even imagine how hard that was. And for for my part, I, I all I experienced was that sort of like welcoming and acceptance and and just support. So it just speaks to how beautiful these people are. So yeah. I'm you know, and I'm just again just so grateful that Valerie everything is is great at this time. So yeah, so awesome. And what a, what a great uh, for you know optimistic or fortunate ending to have her come back in the final episode again you know it's we talked about like oh it's a serious death but like obviously that was you know fictional storyline and then to have her come back um my gosh was was such a great uh payoff and reggie you mentioned it i mean the the series really was more theatrical you know you had a lot of 
three part, four part storylines. Obviously, the the Magna uh, Defender plot line was was so cool and like unexpected. You didn't see where that was going or what was happening. Then, really, from like the first three episodes, the final, and how that all kind of through lines. Uh, what what was it like? Peter Sloop wants to know a little bit about work walk, working with Russell Lawrence, um, who came in as the the second Magna Defender, and you know just just that that overall plot line, <laughs> if you will. What was it like working with Russell? Um, <laughs> you know, okay, this is what's funny. I have to say, uh, out of everyone, I would say I, I, I feel like I've spent the least amount of time with Russell. But really what I think it is is that after the show, I've continued a relationship with, with most sure. of the Rangers and not sure. so much with Russell. But it was great. Uh, we used to laugh about um, he was the older brother. You know, but in yeah, real yeah. life, they're actually it's different in age. Like, I think Danny's older than Russell, but <laughs> he, he was great to work with. I thought the whole our sixth Ranger story, I, I just think it was really interesting and different. And it, it was fun. Like it was. Yeah, I think if I were like the audience watching that, I would have not ex- expected that at all when he falls in the off of the cliff or the hole or whatever that was, you know. So I thought it was a, it, it helped our season to be different, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly a, a, tra- a cool, tragic story, like a, tr- you know, a, a real tragedy <laughs> within the, uh, within the Power Rangers uh, sort of lexicon, if you will. Um, for Serena and Melody, uh, this is from Wesley Lamb. How about the, the crossover? Again, you guys said we now have two new characters um, or two new, sorry, two new casts of characters. And we get a, our first cr- a, a crossover event, which is now like a common thing in TV, right? We've got the Hourverse during crossovers and all these shows doing crossovers. Uh, what was it like having that, uh, this is again from Wesley, the crossover in space lost galaxy team up. And, and again, now people love the team ups in, in the Power Rangers uh, universe. My memory of it um, is like like chaos, but like fun chaos. And correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, but like there's, there's a lot of rangers on one set, you know, and like everybody has such like a big personality and a good good chaos. Um, but uh, it was a blast. It it was a, a blast to shoot. And like a lot of times, like we didn't they, we didn't know what was coming down the pipeline. Like the writers weren't telling us what we were doing ahead of time. So a lot of this stuff was like, we, sometimes we wouldn't get a script until like the, <laughs> the, we're in makeup. We're like, oh, this is what we're doing today. You know? yeah, right. And I think at one point, didn't we have like a movie at like Costco or something? We're like, oh, we shot a movie. We didn't even know. Oh, that. look at that. <laughs> hey. yeah. movie. Um, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, they combine, they combine like some of the individual episodes to make like a, a movie of some. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think there was one in a McDonald's Happy Meal too. Uh, right yeah yeah um so like anyway hilarious hilarious. the team ups were a blast because it's just again like like how we start like what we've been saying all along is that we're let we're a family and we're all sort of part of this like reggie said it best this like really cool fraternity or sorority and um so it's just more rangers more fun (laughs) <laughs> I like that. More Rangers, more fun. <laughs> Melody, maybe you could talk a little bit about that. And then also coming from Laura Chalk. First, first, Laura Chalk says for Serena, tell her I will never forget her kindness when I met her because you were the first Power Ranger oh. cast member I met and was super nervous um, and can't wait to meet Reggie and Melody as well. Hey. Uh, but for Melody and Reggie, uh, let's talk about Super Mega Force. You know, we now come back, you know, 25 seasons later. Uh, we have this talk about too many, not too many, but uh, amount of Rangers on screen my gosh like just that final scene is is epic melody talk a little bit about like returning now you, you mentioned it briefly before uh but recently uh mm-hmm. with the with the megaforce uh team up um i feel like well just to reiterate i i feel like that experience like everything about that seemed bigger than before it seemed really special it's like all of a sudden i realized what an honor it was to be a part of this large, large extended family. Um, and so every scene, um, every kind of meeting um, with, with the old director and our old producer, just, it was just, it was very emotional <laughs> aside from just being fun. But, um, and it was, I learned a lot about the series during that visit. Very cool. Reggie, how about, how about you returning, uh, returning in Megaforce? I would say a keyword keyword was emotional because um, 
I remember I hadn't seen Danny Slavin in a long time. I can't remember the amount of years, but it, so it was like, as soon as we saw like locked eyes on each other, we had this weird moment. And then, um, when we got over, when we got over there, like one of the first things we did, you know, we, we left the airport and got in the car and we went over there and there was this big sort of meeting room where we were all in the same room with, uh, our producer and I hadn't seen him since I ran into him a couple times in LA, but I hadn't seen him in a long time. And just having us all in the same room like that, it was, it was pretty emotional. And then being on set and seeing like one of the old, uh, stunt, uh, choreographer, uh, stunt coordinator guys, Koichi, and just seeing people that you hadn't yeah. seen in so long, it like immediately takes you back to this place where you were like so much younger. And so there would be times where we're just standing on set waiting and they're setting up things and, you're like holding back tears just in between the shots. It was really, then, then it's like the most beautiful place. And we, we had some free time where we, as a group, we'd go places and we went to the beach and we did a lot of different things. And it just is, and, and it's beautiful there. So it looks like you're on another planet, literally in some of the places that we went to. So unforgettable experience, unforgettable. Um, you know, it, I was, it was a moment when I was, I was really proud that, that I was a ranger, that it was just, you know, being a part of it, it was really cool. That's awesome. That's I, awesome. I'm really bummed that I didn't do it. They asked me to uh, do it. I know. And it was a whole like union. I remember thing. that. And like the union was like mm. on to me and it was like this whole thing. So I didn't do it. And, um, and hearing you talk about that, like my heart, like, uh, like, uh, I know God, that so would have been amazing. I did it. And I'm so happy that it happened. You know, it's really cool that, that they did it. It was a quick, it was a quick mm -hmm. moment. It definitely is like, was one of those moments where you, you were so just epically involved as a fan. And then the, the immediate thought afterwards was like, oh my gosh, give me that season. Like, give me that series. Like, give me more of that. So I'm sure it will come back. Yeah, I wish you know it, I, mean? I wish it was longer. Like I wish that 100%. it was like a two hour thing or a four episode or something. That was only a complaints, the wrong word, but that was really the only thing that fans were, were saying was like, Oh my God, that like two, five minutes was so epic. Like, like we, <laughs> we want, yeah, we want more. Give us more, yeah. give us more. So, I mean, hopefully, <laughs> hope, yeah, hopefully it'll come back around again. Um, do it again. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. It was super successful. So mm -hmm. I can't, I can't imagine them not like try, you know, trying something out like that or, you know, having just a huge crossover episode. Um, Reggie, you mentioned uh, the stunts and the stunt coordinator, obviously a huge part of the show. Uh, Darth Plagueis the Wise. First of all, nice, nice uh, handle, Darth Plagueis. Um, wants to know just a little bit about stunts. You know, uh, any unintentional hits or um, memories of of stunt work? Obviously, some of the footage is we all know as fans uh, comes from Absolutely. the original Japanese series. But you know, you still get in there, and everybody gets their uh, their knuckles dirty a little bit. You know, any any fun stunt memories? <laughs> I, mean, I have a lot of fun <laughs> stunt memories. Um, <laughs> There's a couple that I have actually talked about this before on panels, but there's there's a few that stand out. One is there was a scene where there's pyro. This monster comes up behind me, hits me with this like staff or sword or something. And the pyro was set up to go the opposite direction. So then when he hits me, it explodes and all these other things. So there was a malfunction to where the pyro didn't go in that direction. And uh, I got some little, some burns happen. And so I remember in the scene, like, I'm like going, ah, whatever, because this guy hit me, but there wasn't a lot of acting going on because I was <laughs> burning, it was really burning me up. But that's something that stands out. And also this one is funny is that the first time we morphed was, you know, I remember the stunt coordinator was there and they're like, okay, now, as you know, in the, in the, in, you know, this is where you guys morph. And we're like, cool. How do we, we're like, how do we do that? <laughs> so it's like, it's simple. Hold on. There's a, <laughs> there okay. a call coming in. It was like, it's simple. You just do this. And there was like, it literally felt like we were about to do a Michael Jackson music video. It was do just it. Like, blah, 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 all this stuff. So we were, and I don't even remember. And so we always kind of looked at each other like, what? Like, how are we going to, and we're trying to figure it out. And then finally, um, after like our failed attempts, they <laughs> cut it up to where it turned into only Go Galactic. But there was a lot of uh. stuff before Go Galactic. It was like, it was literally like all this stuff, but I love that it, the way it ended up. Like I love the way the Lost Galaxy Rangers morph with Go Galactic. Let's it's gotta it. be one of the best morphing sequences in the franchise, right, Serena? Let's and do it right Melody? now, Ready? Let's do it. All right. On three. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Go. Go oh, wait, ready on three. Hey, three. you on have three. to count. You, you count, Mike. I'll count, I'll count, I'll count. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready? Okay. All right, there's a bad guy. We, we, we see a bad guy. <laughs> no, all right, and action. 
Go! Go! Galactic! Go. Galactic! Galactic. <laughs> I, it's not your fault. Uh, it's Zoom, everybody. Uh, we've, is there we've a delay? It's, there's an, every, like... You hear everybody on Zoom hears a delay a bit. Uh, we've tried to sing happy oh, birthday no. on Zoom. It's nearly impossible. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. But the, right. fan, the fans are loving it. Uh, they're saying, yay, oh my God, yes. Uh, so so don't worry, you got it, you got it. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my gosh. Um, Melody, any any fun stunt stunt memories or stunt moments? Yeah, I feel like I did. I did most of my fighting in um, in space, and yes. Astronema had some really intense boots. Uh, particularly, <laughs> she kind of switched over to some better fighting boots. But in the beginning, it was just like all oh, like, <laughs> and um, I I uh, was practicing some roundhouses with this with a stunt guy, and he's like, "You're just being too timid," you know. He's like, "Harder, harder!" And so it's just like I gave it my all, and it just landed right on his face. <laughs> It's not funny. It's so not funny. But um, so I gave them a little fat lip and they're like, yes. <laughs> you know, so that was that was memorable because it I don't like inflicting pain. <laughs> so <laughs> so it stuck with me for quite a while. But um, yeah, a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Serena, any fun, fun memories? Um, yeah. Well, I guess I have to say, like, we have to do a sh I have to shout out to the stunt people. <laughs> stunt men and women on Power Rangers. Yes. Because anytime, and I, I'm just going to be honest here, because I, I don't like it when people pretend like this isn't true. <laughs> anytime the helmet is on the head, it is a stunt man. And they deserve credit for all of that incredible work that they do, or women. Um, but most of, I would say, the Rangers were actually men. Um, so anytime you see our face and the helmet is off, it's totally us. Sure. Um, but, um, those guys are incredible. And like, we were all in shape. I was going to like Tybo on the weekends. Remember Billy Blank's Tybo? <laughs> Tybo. <laughs> you know, we were all like working hard and training with them and like all that stuff was fun. But those guys deserve some props that they don't get. One don't thing know. I want to say about that too is the fight sequences that we, we were able to do, um, which I wish that we could have done more. Yeah. But what I would, what I would always, it's like, it's like dancing. To me, it's like you, just like you learn choreography for a dance. Sure. It's similar to that, you know? And the other thing I learned a lot about stunts and I watch movies and I pay attention to this is that a lot of times the, the star or the hero is doing the least amount of work. Like, and so now when I watch movies, you know, the guy in the middle is doing a lot of punching and kicking, but it's the mm -hmm. other guy, the stunt guys are flying all over the place and, so um yeah but it was fun yeah serena what about that what about the tarzan moment was that was that not you you were you were you, were, you saw your face how was, was the me. how how was swing how did that work out awesome. see there was some everybody <laughs> wants to do everybody every child every every human wants to swing from a tarzan rope through a jungle <laughs> right <laughs> that's, that's, um, we all practice it like into our we, we want to like swing into a pool or a river yeah. or a lake or something like that. Yeah. yes um no yeah it, it was i loved my character and loved that she was this jungle girl and that that was like a, a piece of it very nice, um, very nice yeah but like reggie said i wish we could have done more a lot of times we were shooting this the acting we were in, like in the in on the set on the soundstage shooting um, stuff in the mega ship. And uh, while simultaneously there was a second unit out in the fields or the desert with the, the stuntmen, that's how they pieced the show together so quickly. Yeah. I, you know, that's so many episodes. No, totally. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a great segue because Edward Bova actually brings up a really great point. A uh, fan Edward Bova watching that um, a, a majority of your series was original footage, you know, in, in, in regards to all the stuff that happens in space, you know, they're using, all the fights were part of a different, you know, morphin series in, in Japan. And Edward Bova says the rescue mission, uh, your your episode, was a, is apparently, according to Ed, the only Power Rangers episode in history that does not use any Japanese footage. I think that's incredible. That's 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 insane. Wow. So yeah, that's so cool. And I, and the series yeah. really is like that. There's so much of your own scenes and settings um, on the ship. You know, what was that? What was it like working on that set and having this kind of like not alternate storyline obviously the storylines matched when you went down to the planet surface but really you were able to really establish your characters in the spaceship you know what i mean and and while you were there um i don't know any memories stick out about about that set or the the mega ship set 
I, I just Sense. watched. Um, <laughs> can oh, you guys hear me okay? Oh, we lost Melody a little bit. Yeah, you're a little frozen, Melody. Sometimes it helps if you just turn your camera off. Oh, you're back. You're back. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I remember I was just, can you hear me okay? Yep. Cool. Um, I was just watching Turn Up the Volume with, <laughs> where Damon and Corone <laughs> are introduced. <laughs> and I feel like I had so much fun running through the halls of that set. Yeah. Like I was always chasing Damon. In that <laughs> in that episode, it's like I was kind of annoying, but um, that and also I remember like the first couple of days of shooting, and they did the the dinner like the, when I first came onto the ship, and they had like the they wheeled like the chicken or something. It was like a Kai wheeled like a chicken dinner. <laughs> do, you, do you guys remember this? I do. Oh, you're all frozen. Oh my god, it was so funny. It was like such a random chicken. Or turkey or something. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that dinner, and I remember turn up the volume. Turn up the volume is probably my favorite episode. But um, but I loved our ship, and I I loved our our little bunk beds and our little apartment, and like <laughs> it was so like mo- it was so modern chic. Yeah, the way they <laughs> set up, it was cool. It really was. <laughs> Speaking of food, I did an episode where I had to like eat an entire cake. And I mean, now, like now, like fast forward 20 years later, like I've I had to like eat like uh, on my Disney show stuck in the middle. I've, they're always like eating things, donuts, cookies, like, you know, <laughs> binge eating things because it's funny, I guess. Um, but like it, I, I had the, the episode where I had to like eat this entire cake. I, I really had a hard time with it. <laughs> Speaking of food, the chicken. Um, I had to eat a whole cake. Oh my gosh. Over and over again? Like, did you have to keep, keep it pretending like it was at the start of the cake? I know it for con- continuity. Oh my God. That's crazy. Um, g- really quickly, Melody, Grantham's 01, uh, you mentioned, uh, Cor- wh- where do you think Zane and Corona are right now? <laughs> Grantham 01 wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I think that they kind of maybe they just like meet up like every now and then like they cross paths in the universe <laughs> like ships in the night you know oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's how I'd like to think of that you know just periodic <laughs> just just have, happen to cruise by um we're, we're almost out of time this went <laughs> this went by so fast um and we appreciate you all for being here so many fans in the chat right now just showing their love. I want to read some of just the most recent Aww. comments. Um, this was my childhood. Uh, I'm just re- uh, Tom Tam Pyre says I'm just rewatching the Lost Galaxy season. It's so awesome to see all of you here. Uh, Vincent Dean says the cake episode was legendary, Serena. So just so you know, um, Ivan says thank you for making my childhood the best. Um, so so many uh, awesome mm-hmm. fans out there. I want to get to one more question and then do final sound uh, kind of goodbyes. Uh, but from Sheree Moore. Do you have a favorite villain? Um, t- obviously, the season, I- an episode, each episode is based around a new villain, a new craze. And my God, the design that that the original Japanese uh, artists uh, came up with, are, they're so cool. So such cool villains. Um, and then some real life ones, Melody, like, like you played as well uh, in the American iterations of them. Uh, any favorite villains uh, out there that you'd, you'd want to team up to destroy <laughs> all over again from Sheree? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I was just going to give a shout out to Ecliptor because he was my, my father. Yeah. <laughs> but he's not, he's not out there in the universe, but I just wanted to, I loved Ecliptor. There we go. Mm, I had maybe. A- no, you go ahead. What was that, no, Serena? You go. Oh, you go right there. I, I was going to say there's two. There's Furio. I would love to just kind of bust up yes. Furio a little bit and then yeah. also that one the one villain that had an El- he looked like Elvis kind of that one yeah. I would he just got on my I would love to get team up and get him too <laughs> that's so that's funny tough. he got on my nerves too <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah um what was what was the guy's name I had a big episode there's probably a fan that knows I had a big episode with this villain um Think. And he like. What did he look me. like? Was he a spider? Like, like what did he not me. And like, <laughs> was I was like, and then like, I hurt my knee, and he gave me like a piggyback ride to like a beach, and we got into an mm. argument. And <laughs> he called me a girl. Like, I fight like a girl, and like, it was like big. Who was it? 
All right, fans, you got it out there. I'm, I'm, watch, I'm watching the on, chat baby. right now. People, people are shouting out. They love, love a clip door. Um, love Villa Max. Let's see if anyone Yay. were they're reacting to Reggie's puppy. Uh, Reggie, tell everybody your puppy's <gasps> name. This is Rain. This is Rain. Rain, say hi. Rain, what's up, Rain? Uh, Serena Loyax. Loyax. <laughs> Loyax. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Derek, Derek Harvey came in, Harvey on YouTube came in first. Tampire was in second place on Facebook. Nice job, both. <laughs> Derek, both on, Tim, thank you so much. Yeah. Lo- so I would love um I'd like to see him again and tell me have him tell me now that I fight like a girl. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, so awesome. Well, again, thank you for being here. I know I speak on behalf of all the Power Rangers fans out there that uh, it's just so nice to take take a little break from, from our situations and everything that we're in right now to kind of reflect back. I know a bunch of people are binging all kinds of shows and, and all of Power Rangers, you know, is currently on Netflix uh, to go back and binge. I know a lot of people are doing that right now. So thank you for all of your work uh, in this series. I'd love to just go around one more time. Again, we have fans watching from not only across the U S uh, but also Argentina, Germany, UK, Wales, wow. France. Um, my gosh, like all different countries tuning in. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's start with, why don't we start with Reggie and then we'll, we'll go to Melody and Serena, just final, you know, shout outs, uh, for the fans that are watching right now. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for jumping on. I, that's just, I can't say how cool that feels to hear all of the different places from all around the world. Um, kind of like we talked about earlier, this is good for me to just do something fun and smile and, and see some old friends and, and then make some new ones too. So I really appreciate it. Um, power on. If you haven't watched the entire Lost Galaxy season, get on Netflix or something and watch. <laughs> I might go back and watch some episodes too, but thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, Reggie. Melody? Uh, ditto. I just wanted to say thank you. I'm so humbled. Um, I'm just humbled to have you guys join us and um, also hang in there. I know that it's a, such a strange time and we can't connect in person like we want to and it can be really isolating so hang in there stay connected with us and your friends and um we'll see you soon awesome thanks melody and serena um the same i just it makes me want to cry like literally um to hear all of you tuning in from all over the world we're honored it um and yes and humbled um so thank you for being here and yeah it is a very strange time. So um, please wear your masks. It's real. Co- my dad got COVID-19. He's okay now. Thank God. But um, oh. for some people out there that don't think it's real, <laughs> wear your mask, protect you and others. Black lives matter. Vote. Please. Yes. Yeah, please, <laughs> please, please vote. All of Black- that. Yeah. Black lives matter. Wear a mask. Mm-hmm. I know we, we, yes. su- we support that as well. So um, thank you for shouting that out, Serena. We appreciate it. Um, Guatemala and Puerto Rico also in the house. They just they yeah. just shouted out. So uh, thank yeah. you for thank you for shouting out as well. Um, so cool. Again, go back. What in space into Lost Galaxy is is so awesome to go back and rewatch that like whole through line. The end of Zordon, the start of like the new um, cast members and everything is such a fun moment in Power Rangers history. I know I know I don't have to tell you all you without watching at home, um, but definitely go back and, and check it out. Uh, let's give it up one more time. A big round of emojis for the amazing cast of Power Rangers Lost <laughs> Galaxy. Um, Serena Vincent, Melody Perkins, and Reggie Roll, everybody. Thank Head you. to Wizard World Virtual. Go to wizardworldvirtual.com. Uh, if we didn't get to one of your questions, uh, or if you want to just have a, a, some awesome one-on-one time, those will be happening with these three amazing people on Monday. So definitely check that out at Wizard World Virtual. Um, you can also get video recorded messages and autographs. So treat yourself treat a loved one um find that power rangers fan in your family and happy happy national power rangers day everybody yeah. it's your anniversary yeah. happy yeah. national power rangers day happy national power rangers day and we will see you next time on wizard world virtual experiences my name's mike g we'll see you next time bye everybody hi this is aaron ashmore and you are watching phantom spotlight be sure to like share and subscribe like like now oh and have fun and follow your fandom